ora and welcome to Living Life as Easy As with Happiness. Woohoo! And so excited actually, I couldn't wait for today to bring you this little scenario that happened in my life and the big breakthrough that I actually realized for myself. I'm so excited, so just going to share this little gem um, about what happened to me this week is that in my place of work, I just love it because people come to have a really good time, you know, enjoy themselves and indulge in some fun. And we had this family in there, just paint the picture but keep it short. Mama, Papa, three children, one of them was two years old roughly, and Nana and Grandpa. All in there having some great family fun. Anyway, right at the beginning, nine o'clock in the morning, the little two-year-old kicks off. Kicks off, raise the roof, screaming the place down he wanted a nice vlog and he was kicking up hell fury anyway the parents gave in and obviously he's done that scenario before knew it worked was going to get him what he wanted and i could feel my blood starting to boil at the fact that they gave into this child and i'm just i'm here i am got you know rolling my eyes and going oh my god and i could actually feel my happiness disappearing and I was getting angry about the scenario and then I just stopped myself and I'm like hold on a minute who am I to even judge these people why am I getting so upset over this scenario when it has got nothing zilch kabuchi nothing absolutely nothing to do with me and yet I was allowing the scenario to take away my happiness and replace it with anger and annoyance and frustration over something that actually had nothing to do with me you know I was rolling my eyes at these people because of the way that they gave into this to you I was so proud of myself that I caught myself in it and what I was doing, realizing that, you know, this scenario has got nothing to do with me and what, who, am, who am I to even have an opinion on it. But what I loved about the whole scenario was I could see my happiness disappearing because of my sticky nose beak getting into a situation that had nothing to do with me. And I noticed it, pulled myself back. Oh my God, personal internal high five because of the fact that I'm like, oh, I don't, ha this has got nothing to do with me. And here I could feel it starting to make my blood boil and um, realizing that, you know, I am literally in control of, of how I feel. And um, so instead of my happiness is completely disappearing and being taken over by annoyance and anger and frustration at how these people were parenting their child, um, I pulled myself back, retained my happiness, the child had his ice block and went on to play happily ever after and everyone had a fantastic time. And I just can't believe that I had such a strong opinion on something that had nothing to do with me in the first place. And that was, a few years ago, quite a lot of what my life was like always having an opinion on other people's son scenarios or situations that would annoy me and change my energy, I suppose, um, which I could feel that scenario was. It was changing my happy energy, energy into a not so happy energy. And if I had allowed that to happen and if I hadn't caught myself in it, stopped it, then I think that that negative energy could have actually got momentum and snowballed during the day. And I think I would have allowed other scenarios to probably get on top of me. And so, yes, yeah, so proud of myself for catching myself in that moment. Um, I, How I coped with it is I literally did talk to myself saying, come on, Nessie, why have you even got an opinion on this? This family's got nothing to do with you. Stay out of it. <laughs> Don't let it ruin your day. You know, it's just, and it was really cool. So I, I often do have to talk to myself, rein myself in uh, to keep my happiness levels there. And yeah, and so ended up going on. And um, because I had stopped myself and changed 
my energy from the negative to keeping it in a beautiful happy place um, really really happy about that whole scenario and how it ended up playing out and when I start to catch myself in other things as well like catching it right at the get-go and uh, reining it in saying uh -uh, this has got nothing to do with me why am I having an opinion on it um, and you know if it's stuff that literally has got nothing like literally has got nothing to do with you um, and you allow it you allow it to change your energy from a positive energy to a negative energy this is where you can help increase your happiness is staying out of shit that really doesn't concern us um, I think probably why I used to get involved in it is because it would make me feel better about my own shit that was going on back then um, and it's been a habit that I've had to try and break so yeah a real breakthrough this weekend and I'm so happy and celebrate woohoo you gotta celebrate the wins that's for sure it increases your happiness as well anyway much much harder to each and every one of you but before I go a big happy birthday to my daddy O. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you heaps. Oh, and a big congratulations to my auntie and uncle. Been together 42 years and they finally got married this weekend. So, yay. Don't give up on love. Much, much aroha to you and your wedding day. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.